Hi, this is Darren at Chenard's Nursery. I wanted to talk today about a couple of fruit tree issues that you might see, the differences between them and, and how they need to be handled differently. This is my pear tree in my yard at home. And we have a couple of things going on with the pear tree this year, despite a normal spray regimen. We have fungal rust. So that's these bright orange elevated bubbly spots uh, that are show through and through from the front and the back of the leaf. It is a fungal disease. We're not showing any spores present right now, but when they're present, they're elevated above the leaf surface and noticeably fuzzy, bright orange or orange red. Fungal diseases like rust can be addressed with fungicides. In the dormant season, we attempt to prevent fungal rust with sprays of copper or sulfur. We did that this year, but we've had a pretty rainy spring and summer, and we've had some incidents of, of rust coming up in any case. So, we can't use the metallic fungicides in this hot weather. It's likely to damage the fruit and could even damage the tree as a whole. So we have a kind of a limited group of fungicides we can use. In the case of rust, we can use the insecticide fungicide neem. It's usable for both uh, insect problems and fungal diseases. It's pretty mild, uh, but it is effective on mildews and rust specifically. Or we can use a biological fungicide. Monterey Complete Disease Control is a good biological fungicide that stimulates the tree's immune responses to help it fight off diseases. It's best used when we don't have too severe of an infection, but it is a, at least beneficial even if the infection is established. So that's fungal diseases. But there are some look-alike problems that are not fungal diseases that we do see and need to be addressed differently. The dark blistery areas and deformity on this pear leaf are caused by pear leaf blister mites. Mites are not a disease, they are a little insect. And the challenge with blister mites is they're a type of mite that lives inside the leaf between the upper and lower leaf surfaces. Miticides and insecticides do not touch them in that location. So, in a case of blister mite on a pear tree, that's a call to take action later. You can't really fix that problem for this year, but you know that problem is going to come back and potentially get worse year over year if it's not dealt with. Blister mites can only be controlled in the dormant season. Now, if we were using sulfur fungicides rather than copper fungicides, that's pretty effective against blister mites. I use copper, one of the reasons I didn't get good suppression on this particular problem this year myself. We can also use a spray oil, a dormant spray oil, as a suffocant to control those mites. It needs to be done in the winter, late, um, right before the, the new growth emerges. Uh, they, they're accessible to, to control in that stage of their development, and by the time the leaves actually unfold, the mites are already inside and not controllable. 